We have international students from over a hundred different countries. And what is it that we really want to achieve? And that achievement must make a contribution to the society and to the lives of people. It's really, really important that we keep going back and checking that we're doing what we say we're going to do. Education is no longer just about smart kids in, smart kids out, and how well you did at school, and whether you went to a private school or a public school. We really, really believe that if everybody has the right to have higher education or tertiary education, we're using private money to help more people become educated and walk across that stage. How do we create a world where other people can also grow and develop? We're talking about our research, which is absolutely world class. We're doing some amazing work to make sure that our research has impact. We're living in this world that is changing almost dramatically. And it's like the pebble and the pond stuff. We know that it takes a village to send an international student to Australia, but we also know an international student does so much more than just their fees for their education. They're in the economy, they're renting, they're working. It's a question of purpose. It's a question of meaning. It's a question of going beyond the output towards impact. It's the impact on the individual. It's the impact of that staff member. It's the impact on that community. It's the impact on that society. We have a global impact and we're incredibly proud of that. It's a question of purpose, it's a question of meaning, it's a question of going beyond the output towards impact. Making our world a better place by implementing concepts which we have come across. This degree is not for me, it's for my whole family. the risks of building that digital uh, intelligence network across the globe. Our focus has been on women's alcohol consumption. Is it ethical to ask an older person to do a four metre walk? Get students working on projects that will have a material impact. Basically it's getting the students out of the classroom and working with industry. We were keen to convert practical studio based subjects for online delivery. We stand shoulder to shoulder now to connect the world for good. It allows for us to unite. Be bold, be creative, be good, be global, be well. Begin and end with people.
life change. To get to know the industry. I also love to create stories. I'm creating networks. Merge all my experiences, like different cultures and that, into art design. Just love what you do and enjoy the moment. The lecturers that I've had throughout my three years here, they know people, they understand the industry, they've, had, they've worked in it and they've been really open with their experience and sharing it with us. Think more about what's the impact you want to make and what's the sort of work you want to be doing, what's going to get you excited to get out of bed in the morning and go home and, you know, feeling like you've made a difference. Um, and the roles and the job titles and the sexy things, they'll come, right? To have the business in your mind and the charity in your heart. It's a real natural progression from study, from academia, doing their placements and everything, to actually going out and working. It's an incredible community, so it's people we can rely on, pick up the phone and ask a question when you're having a challenging day. When you're out in the industry, it doesn't matter what year you graduated, it doesn't matter how old you are, because when it comes out to the industry and we're networking with each other, we can all have like-minded skills. Give it your all. Just stop everything and just go for it. Begin and end with people. Be global, be creative and bold, be good and be well. Good evening, graduands, friends, family, faculty, and distinguished guests. Welcome to Torrens University Australia's 20, 2024 graduation ceremony. I'm Associate Professor Bridget Marnie, Program Director for the School of Social Health Sciences at Torrens University. It gives me great pleasure to be your leader of ceremonies today. Now, before we begin our formal proceedings, I'm just going to ask you to all please set your mobile phones to silent or switch them off if you can. Now, congratulations on a wonderful day of celebration, not just for our graduates, but for their families and their friends, and I see plenty of them here today. This includes young children as well, and I see a few of those helping us celebrate today. We hope that these children will one day walk across the stage too. The smaller ones might make some noise during the ceremony, but that's all part of the day. And so I'm encouraging everyone to just be patient and kind and enjoy the celebration. Today, you're about to witness a ceremony steeped in tradition a tradition that continues to carry importance and reverence today. This year, our graduations are extra special as 2024 marks 10 years since Torrens University Australia first opened its doors. And it first opened its doors right here in Adelaide. So without further ado, please be upstanding to welcome the academic procession.
Please be seated. Today we have the privilege of meeting on Ghana Yata land. It's my honour now to welcome Isaac Hannam, a proud Ghana Naranjeri man, to deliver the welcome to country. Namani, Nanari as a good new Jahanam, Natangi Wilta, Ghana, Nanjri Mio, Marto Changa, Ghana Mirna, Nawangani, Marina Putni, Nadlako, Yardana, Marina Lu Tampathy, Nadlo, Gari Yartanga Tikinthi, Nachalia, Yangan Chalia, Yakana Chalia, Nachalia. I'm an Amsa, I'm a proud Ghana and Nanjri man, and it's really good to be here with you all tonight. Uh, it's a big honour to be here with everyone. Uh, graduating and to be able to welcome you all onto Ghana country. I just firstly want to acknowledge my elders, so the ones that have empowered me to get up and continue uh, ceremony, uh, continue protocol and language in my community. I think for a long time, uh, a lot of, as a lot of people know, there's been a big effort that's gone back into um, really making sure that we can keep that surviving and thriving in our communities today. Um, so I do want to acknowledge all my nanas and poppers, aunties and uncles that have really brought me up strong in language and culture. I do also want to acknowledge the ancestors, so not only my ancestors but your ancestors too. And I invite them here tonight, uh, wherever they may come from, into this space to be a part of tonight, to be a part of this uh, ceremony and to take care of us during our journeys here on Ghana country. I just want to say some words. Ghana, Nanjiri, Pakamuthnu, Kurong, Wurengi, Bungali, Nopin. It's just asking any bad spirits to leave, so only good spirits to be here tonight. So that way we always know that our ancestors are here and good spirits are here as well. The instrument I played before is known as the Yiraki, and I do want to acknowledge the Yongu people by saying the words Mamak Yongu, which means thank you in their language. This instrument isn't traditionally from Ghana country, it comes from Yongu country up in the Northern Territory. 
Uh, so I do want to acknowledge our Yongle family up there that have given us the permission to play this beautiful instrument here on Ghana Yarta. So uh, as we uh, finish off with the welcome, I do want to welcome all of you here tonight on Ghana Yarta, and uh, thank you very much. Take care. Nachalia. Thank you very much, Isaac. This afternoon, I extend a particularly warm welcome to all of our graduates. What a special day it is for you all. I want to also extend a warm welcome to families, some of whom might have come from a very long way to celebrate with you, to our friends, to our academics, and to other invited guests. I would also like to recognise today's official party, Honourable Greg Crafter, AO, Board Member of Torrens University Australia, Vice-Chancellor of Torrens University Australia, Professor Alvain Lowe. It's my pleasure now to invite our Vice-Chancellor up to the lectern. It is my great pleasure to be here this afternoon and to welcome you at this very special occasion. I will say that graduation ceremonies are those unique events where you look forward to it and you plan for it and you envision how wonderful it's going to be. And that day when it happens, you ask, what is really happening today? For the simple reason that this is the end of something, but at the same time, it is really the beginning of something else. Because this is the day where we take stock, reflect on what we have done, what we aspire to, and ultimately what we have achieved in terms of our aspiration. And based on that, we then have to say, but I've now achieved, and what is the horizon? What is the vision? What is the opportunity that's coming after this? And it's important that we ask that question because graduation is a wonderful recognition of your achievement. But graduation at the same time is also confirmation of responsibility, coming with the new status, coming with that new knowledge, coming with that recognition that is bestowed upon you and through that acknowledge that you now have something more to contribute to society. We really want to honor and congratulate our graduates today for the very specific reason that we're living in a rapidly changing environment. So it's indeed an achievement to graduate at this stage. We are aware that about 87% of our students are working while they're learning. In other words, we understand that we're living in a complex world. We understand that we have many challenges and our students have many challenges. But at the same time, Torrance University is 10 years old this year. And we're proud of that because during these 10 years, we achieved very significant milestones. Firstly, we are the fastest growing university in Australia. And after 10 years, that is an achievement. Secondly, we are recognized by our students in national survey and government survey for the academic experience they have. And we are assessed number seven out of 43 universities. After 10 years, in comparison to universities that are ages old, we think that is an achievement. <clears throat> 87 percent also of our employers in the national survey say, we appreciate graduates from Torrance University. In other words, when you enter the labor market and people see a Torrance qualification, they attach value to it. And that's important because we want to make sure that our gradu graduates enter into a world of work where they have a fair opportunity to compete and participate. And the last thing I just want to mention is as a young university, we are now meeting all the requirements in terms of global standard, world standard research in four disciplinary areas. 
Now that is an achievement after 10 years. We are proud of, of, of our university. We are proud of what our staff and our students have achieved during this period. Because ultimately, being a successful university is a partnership between students, academics, and general support staff in an institution. Torrance University, based on what we've achieved over 10 years, is proudly a university for the future. We are proud because we have clear values that guide our behavior and make sure that we continuously keep ourselves honest in this process of commitment towards society. We say that everything we do should be measured against the principle of the contribution of the impact it has on society. So when we teach a new course or when we develop new ideas, it must be assessed against the real value that it will deliver. And for that reason, we start with people and we end with people. We respect people and we make sure that we work in alignment with people and their aspirations. At the same time, we understand that to be brave enough to say that we want to impact the world, we need to be bold. In other words, we need to be willing to challenge those difficult things. We need to be able to challenge those really complex issues in society and take responsibility for being part of a solution. And we do that in the context of a global environment. There is no way in which anyone can think themselves outside the globalizing world and the global context in which we live. But ultimately, all these things are words if we don't live, live that. And this is why we're proud of our students that form part of this process during the period they are involved in their studies. They grow with us in terms of these values because it's always a process of partnership and growth. What is the world in which we live and in which you're going to continue to function and participate? We're living in this world where innovation and radical change is a characteristic of the changing world of work. In other words, continuously challenging to do better, continuously challenging to do different to achieve more. The willingness and the readiness to challenge the existing and to commit to radical change. In other words, not only tinkering with what we have, but also ask the fundamental questions towards the new. The interesting part of this is, as I said, in a globalized world, we're living in this massive network in our societies and across societal boundaries. And that global network ultimately is enabled by technology and supported by technology that's continuously pushing us to move faster and faster, and we hope to be more effective and also efficient at the same time. <clears throat> So what do we say to our students in this environment and our graduates? <clears throat> it is imperative that our graduates must have the competencies. That means they must have the values, the knowledge, the skills, and the attitudes to get out into the world. Because employers nowadays say, don't tell us about your qualification. Tell us about what you can do with what you know. In other words, we take the next step. It is not only that certificate that will launch you into an opportunity. It is that ability to say, I have the certificate which says that I have knowledge, I understand the conceptual stuff, but at the same time, I'm able to translate that into real solutions, real processes, real practice in society. And that is different. Our approach at Torrance remains that we want to find that balance between theory and application. And for that reason, we have all the confidence in the world that a graduate from Torrance University has the necessary apparatus, the necessary skills, knowledge, and those attitudes that are so important to get out into the world of work 
and really participate and make a contribution. Having lived in this environment with the values I was talking about, I believe that those values will also guide you in the way forward. Remember that, as I said right at the outset, today is a wonderful day of recognition, but it launches you into the world of lifelong learning. It launches you into the world of new responsibility where the society can rightfully expect a new role, new contributions, and new responsibilities from your side. And that's wonderful, because this is how we grow, and this is how we contribute to the development and growth of society. This is how we impact the lives of people to continuously improve and grow. So today is a wonderful day to appreciate all the hardship and difficulties, but also the joy that you had during your learning period, and we want to congratulate you for that. But at the same time, we want to acknowledge the families, friends, and support structures of our students, and I say that at every graduation ceremony, that higher education is a team sport. It is not an individual sport. We know that people during their learning and during the period of engagement with the university depend heavily on the support of their families and support structures. And we want to express our appreciation that you are willing to, par to partner with us in this process to support the learning of our graduates. At the same time, a special word of appreciation to our academics, to our lecturers and our support staff at the university who form part of the system that we build around the learning of our students and the contribution. We want to wish you all of the best in your careers going forward. We acknowledge that you will continue to learn, and we want to immediately say that we want to remain your partners in that lifelong learning process of growth and development. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor, for your inspirational and thoughtful words. We will now be proceeding to the next part of the ceremony, which recognises our graduands' academic achievements. I now call upon Honourable Greg Crafter, AO, Board Member of Torrens University Australia, to confer the awards. Thank you very much, Associate Professor Bridget Marnie. Friends, firstly, may I bring greetings to particularly our graduates, but also to everyone from the board of Torrens University and Think Education. They send their greetings to each of you and their congratulations. Graduation is the culmination of the student learning journey, and it's certainly a source for celebration. The governing boards of Torrens University Australia and Think Education are accountable for the quality of education delivered and the validity of the qualifications issued by Torrens and Think. The academic board, with the delegated authority from the governing boards, has principal responsibility for quality assurance of all academic activities of Torrens and Think including the governance for issuance of awards. I'd now ask all graduates to stand, please. Thank you. As the representative of the governing boards, I'm very pleased to confirm that each graduate being presented today and those listed as in absentia has been assessed by the academic board as eligible to graduate and receive your award. Each of you has fully met the academic and administrative requirements necessary to be awarded a degree or diploma and Torrens University Australia and Think Education have been able to officially and legally award you an undergraduate or graduate degree or diploma. By virtue of the authority vested in me, by the governing boards of Torrens University Australia and Think Education, I hereby confer the degrees and diplomas being presented here today and those listed for those graduates in absentia. 
Your conferral of the award has now been recorded on your record within our student record system. So this evening, I certify that the candidates present and those in absentia have fulfilled the conditions prescribed for admission to certain degrees and are entitled to be admitted to the rank, privileges and responsibilities of those degrees. Congratulations. You may now be seated. Thank you. <laughs> Graduates, your hard work and dedication have led you to your success and I offer my congratulations on this very special day in your lives. I would also wish to acknowledge all of those who have joined you on this journey, including your families and partners, fellow students and our dedicated and academic and support teams at Torrens University and Think Education. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. I would now like to invite Vice-Chancellor Professor Alvain Lowe to centre of stage and call upon Associate Professor Hannah Wekanonical from the School of Health Sciences to present the Think Education Certificate graduates. Thank you, Bridget. On behalf of Think Education, I present to you our Think Education graduates. Diploma of Nursing, Adesh Bur Kaur, Ashad Adni Achi Nasim Aksha Yata Baniya Alicia Dakal. Amandi Kaur. Amanpreet Kaur Gill. Marjot Ko Sohi Enid O. Grady Anita Basu Preet Kaur. Anu Katri.
Angela Samir Satani. Aria Jochi. Asmita JC. Afnid Korbula. Babita Khan. Bawika Nihil Patel. Bumiga Achiria. Beef Love Chema. Bricha Lawat. Chemker Singh. Chipo Chang V. Dilla. Sairu Joy Kabawatan Afalia. Dahana Manti Devi Cha. Dipmala Katka. Gagandeep Singh. Preed Kaur Harpreet Kaur Harpreet Kaur Harpreet Kaur Tucker. Harpreet Singh. Hasimran Kaur. Hussan Preet Kaur. Hussan Preet Kaur. Ibrahim Ashraf. Right. (Applause) 
Janet Kipare. Jason Murray T. M. Pugu. Kiran Preet Kaur. Lasata Amadja. Love Preet Kaur. Mabana Kalama. Mandeep Kaur. Mini Sasa Bauya Dalais. Mohini Tapa <laughs> Nevin Joseph Luther <laughs> Nefni Coleman Nipes Chirta Nisha Nita Chama Harwinda Kaur Pooja Tiwali Pratima Palajuli Pratiwa Pordell Pratiwa Pogrel Gimri Large Kumali Patel Large window call. Large window sing. Lamandi call. Lamandeep Kaur (laughs) 
Lamandi Dalaiwa. Reshma Garang. Ripanjot Ko Sandu. Rushari Tulada. Sabita Pog Rail <laughs> Samjana New Pani <laughs> Sarah Liver Chupa Panjita Truti Simran Ko Simlan Jot Ko Tritana Bata Rai Dumire Chudena KC Sujata Dahau <laughs> Suman Devi <laughs> Sunita Treta Linda Call Bar Chasmita Bania Sasmita Chitra. Naya Jane Alligator <laughs> Tough Need Core Vendana Rani Chaga Choma Yana Mitsuri Congratulations again to all our Think Education gatherings.
I would now like to invite Professor, Associate Professor Akama Oman, Head of Nursing School of Health Science, to present to, to you, Torrance University, Australia, Design, Health and Education Gardens. Thank you, Hannah. On behalf of Torrance University Australia, I present to you the Design, Health and Education graduates. Diploma of Counseling and Communication Skills, Melissa Dunbar. <laughs> Abe Lynn. of Health Science, Joanna Trace. <laughs> Tracy Lynn Cartridge. Diploma of Nutrition, Keita Dawe. <laughs> Elizabeth McCarty. <laughs> Holy Wall. Bachelor of Applied Public Health, Ochechi Louise Okere. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Social Science, Community Services, Abednego Rutich. Amit Sehdev. <laughs> Anita Sreshta Piakril. <laughs> Asha Khatka. Ashley Mutai. <laughs> Benta Gichangi. Karen Chepki Rui. <laughs> Chirima Ayake.
Wang Goy. <laughs> Cynthia Vambui Gikaru. Daphne Varnakula Surya. <laughs> Deepinder Kundu. Kehinde Dorcas Obazue. Ekele Vabu Eze. Ekta Aurora. Fred Chepchuchur. <laughs> Flower Rosy D. Morris. <laughs> Franca Esohe Erumuwase. Hafsa Vanyama. <laughs> Harmandeep Kaur. Harsh KDN. <laughs> Hetarachige Dilma Dilanka. <laughs> Jared Kirwa. Jadida Mwangi. John Bosco Chinonso Omeke. Joram Kungu Nyenga. Karuna Kaki. Kelvin Laggett. Karen Bugwa. Lekara and Rumafe.
Lilisha Mella. Lovepreet Kaur Dhaliwal. <laughs> Lin Yamhua Mwangi. Malati Mala Bandari Mandeep Kaur Johal Mandrup Kaur Nilon Margaret Wanjiku Muwangi. <laughs> Mary Wanjiru Mungwa. Dompe She Rosalyn Shuwai Chali. <laughs> Omo Wumi Opeke. <laughs> Batroba Jepet Kimboy. Percival Matthew Moana. <laughs> Rabina Koju. <laughs> Rachna Shahi. Radha Vijaya Kumar. Rajpreet Kaur. Ranjit Kaur. Regina Wairimu Jambamba. Samjana Lamsal. <laughs> Sanju Sunuwa. <laughs> Sarbagya Baudil. Charles Sim 
Kiran Vivek Thapa. Sonali Jassal. Sophie Duku Michael. Susan Jerry Buru. Tanya Taplin. Terence Kiprono Bussini. Kimutai. Vanessa Patricia. Yogesh Suribanshi. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Social Science Counseling, Amanda Hughes. <laughs> Nicole Bruce. Bachelor of Health Science Aesthetics, Louisa Golding. <laughs> Nicole Klingberg. Bachelor of Nursing, Abhishek Sachdeva. <laughs> Aldrich John Pablo. <laughs> Jyoti Acharya. Pratima Koirala. Saroj Sreshta. Shalika Dilrukshi Jayakodi Arachigi. Graduate Certificate of Counseling and Graduate Diploma of Counseling, Alania Bok. <laughs> Graduate Certificate of Public Health, Audrey Mamre. Helen Igboka. Thank 
Graduate Diploma of Counseling, Fleur Tucker. Graduate Diploma of Counseling and Master of Counseling, Belinda Marie Catasai. <laughs> Heather Quinn. Master of Counseling, Jane Collins. Wakanak Wee. Master of Counseling Advanced. Latifat Olasumo D. <laughs> Huluwashehi Hugundegi. Day. Master of Public Health, Priyanga Mascaranes. Master of Public Health Advanced. Colin Espiani Chukwu. <laughs> Dilpreet Kaur. <laughs> Isha Gautam. Jaspreet Kaur Mun. <laughs> Joan Chentai Ruto. <laughs> Joban Preet Kaur. Sar Akasho <laughs> Karishma Gimri <laughs> Kasun Gamaj Kayur Vagela <laughs> Manpreet Kaur <laughs> Mohammed Rashid Mahmood Nalini Ragnar (Applause) 
Namrata Tapalia. Ungosi Okezi. Nirali Savalia. Enge Chini Re Marta Ikehe. Machuku Petrumina Akoe Agu Sandeep Kaur Sharmini Chandra T. Huang Namdu <laughs> Unnati Ben Priyal Kumar Rabari Virjit Kaur. <laughs> Master of Public Health and Master of Public Health Advanced, Kemi Ajiboy. Graduate Certificate of Education Autism, Louise Quinn. <laughs> Nabina Sreshta. Graduate Certificate of Education, Learning Difference, Tiffany Lee Sellers. <laughs> Graduate Certificate of Education, Special Education, Christie and Johnson. Master of Education, Innovation and Change, SPIBE. <laughs> Master of Education, Special Education, Maria Teresa Montenero Leonor. Master of Philosophy, Carol Letts. <laughs> Flora Ching Man Ma.
Diploma of Graphic Design, Erin Tucker. Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration, Ashley Medunz. <laughs> Diploma of Photography and Photo Imaging, Alex Boer. <laughs> James. Ian's Willis. <laughs> Bachelor of Communication Design, Jemina. Bachelor of Information Technology, Yan He An. <laughs> Graduate Certificate in Web Design, Shivana Young. Master of Information Technology, Path Patil. <laughs> Ritik Mehta. <laughs> Shubanshi Sharma. Master of Information Technology Advanced, Andres Hernandez. <laughs> Berna Demershi. Druvit Mahesh Bhai Katrodia. <laughs> Shumel Khalid. <laughs> Tahira Banu. Sayobin Jia <laughs> Master of Software Engineering Artificial Indige Intelligence Advanced Bruno Ferraz Nicola Daniel Maximo. <laughs> Akin Charles Anayakbu. Catherine Delayla Human Morales. <laughs> Kosi Akarese. <laughs> Ma
Malik Fahad Ali. Shall we? Shiva Kumar Madini. Valpola Mudalige Donna Sandali Himansha Valpola. <laughs> Master of Software Engineering, Cloud Computing Advanced, Archit. Bhagavi Desai <laughs> Druvil Patel Nabil Nasir <laughs> Sukhpreet Kaur <laughs> Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Hannah, and thank you, Akuma. It is now my pleasure to present our doctoral research graduand. Doctoral research solves the most challenging problems of our times and is critical to the well-being of society and the planet we live on. Research drives advancement and development from jobs and technology to economics and health. It informs understanding of ourselves as individuals, as communities, as countries and as part of a global community. Today's doctoral candidate has produced a thesis that demonstrates original thought and academic rigor, while also making a, a significant contribution to existing knowledge. It gives me great pleasure to invite Dr. James Calvert to the stage. Dr. Calvert has completed a Doctor of Philosophy. His research was titled Immersive Narratives in Educational Virtue, Virtual Reality. Dr. Calvert utilised empirical research and the practice-based design of a significant creative artefact to study immersive narratives in educational virtual reality. The research focused on investigating the cognitive and effective learning outcomes of utilising narrative virtual reality in education, make, making theoretical contributions through publication of empirical research and practice contribution via the design of a significant creative artefact titled Thin Ice VR. The immersive narrative experience, Thin Ice VR, was written and directed by Dr Calvert and has been exhibited and awarded on the international stage. The outcomes of the research contribute to both theory and practice, demonstrating that narrative virtual reality can significantly benefit learning. Congratulations, Dr. Calvert. Excellence Awards recognise students who have achieved outstanding academic results during their studies. 
I know these students have worked exceptionally hard and would like to recognise them here this evening. Today I have the pleasure of acknowledging these three students. Shubanshi Sharma graduates today with a Master of Information Technology and a GPA of 6.25. What a fantastic achievement. Yeah. Tanya Taplin graduates with a Bachelor of Applied Social Science Community Services with a GPA of 6.91, incredible. Welcome, Tanya. And finally, Nailani Ragnath graduates with a Master of Public Health Advanced with a GPA of 6.31. Congratulations, Nailani. Big congratulations to these three students who scored particularly high GPAs, but also congratulations to you all. Today is all about you, our graduates, and your, your achievements, and so it's entirely fitting that you hear from one of your peers. I would like to welcome back to the stage Tanya Taplin, a graduate of the Bachelor of Applied Social Science Community Services and our Excellence Award winner to deliver our graduate address for us. Tanya. Thank you to the Vice-Chancellor, to the Torrens University academics here. Thank you. Thank you so much for this honour to address you all tonight. Esteemed guests, loved ones and fellow graduates, my name is Tanya Taplin and I'm a graduate of the Bachelor of Applied Social Science. As we stand on the cusp of this momentous occasion, receiving our well-deserved degrees in social sciences, I'm reminded of a profound quote by one of the giants in the humanistic psychology movement, Carl Rogers, who said, the only person who is educated is the person who has learned how to learn and change. Today we celebrate not just the culmination of our academic journey, but also the beginning of a lifelong commitment to learning, growth and adaptation. Lifelong in my context might not be as long as it is for some of you graduates. However, I grasp this idea with enthusiasm and courage. Brene Brown suggests that each day we have a choice, comfort or courage. The day that we chose to apply for entry into this course, we chose courage. 
Every day when we attended classes, sat down at our computers, asked questions, carefully constructed forum posts and papers, and pushed on when we struggled to find the words, we chose courage. I invite you to cast your mind back to the day you were accepted into this course. I recall that day vividly. I was cleaning the windows of the home of an ageing couple in my local community. You see, life had taken some unexpected turns and I found myself providing support work and cleaning for a living. To be honest, this is not where I expected myself to be at the age of 46. I knew that I could help people in a more meaningful way and so I chose courage. Without the flexible learning opportunities that Torrens University provides, I could not have committed to this study journey. I embarked on my studies juggling full-time work and a busy life. I observed you all juggling that and more. I have great admiration for our international students who have navigated a new country, being away from sources of comfort and meeting the demands of visas and financial pressures. I cannot imagine such struggles. Witnessing your journey has been inspiring. The courage you have shown is tenfold. Our time studying social sciences has taught us the invaluable lesson that knowledge is not static. It evolves, expands and transforms with time. We have delved in the complexities of human behaviours, societal structures and cultural dynamics, gaining insights that challenge our preconceived notions and broaden our perspectives. We have been equipped with the tools to critically analyse, empathetically engage and eth ethically navigate the complexities of the human experience. It has instilled in us the courage to question societal norms, advocate for marginalised voices and strive for social justice and equality. However, true education goes beyond the accumulation of facts and theories. It resides in our ability to embrace change, to unlearn outdated beliefs and to learn new ways of thinking and being in the world. To accept the call to serve our communities and to actively participate in transforming societies for the better. And to do so in our current political environment takes courage. Great teachers do not just lecture, they imbue us with their passion and knowledge. They believe in us. They remove the barriers to our achieving our very best. They implore us to be curious. They see our potential and they nurture it. They extend their compassionate understanding that we are whole people with lives that are demanding and at times difficult. They have been allies on our quest. They have broadened our minds and fostered in us the confidence and courage to pursue our meaningful careers. And this achievement would not have been possible without the love and support of our families and friends. They have missed us at gatherings and cheered us on through moments of self-doubt and believed in us. A special mention to my husband Luke for the endless cups of tea and hugs, for cleaning the house and doing the shopping and for being a steadfast support for the duration of this course. He was momentarily overwhelmed when I told him I wanted to enrol in a Masters. But he continues to provide his support and I continue my academic journey. Thanks, baby. <laughs> As we embark on the next chapter of our lives, let us carry with us the spirit of lifelong learning and a commitment to personal growth. Let us remain curious, open-minded and humble in the face of uncertainty. Let us embrace challenges as opportunities for growth setbacks as lessons in resilience and differences as avenues for understanding. In closing, I urge my fellow graduates to remember that our education does not end with this degree. It is an ongoing journey of self-discovery, transformation and reinvention. Let us continue to learn, adapt and evolve and let us do so with courage. Thank you all. Thank you, Tanya, for your graduate address today. As one of my former students, I'm particularly proud of everything that Tanya's achieved throughout her study. In 2024, Torrens University Australia celebrates our past and all who have contributed to our growth. 
all who have contributed to our growth and success, and we look ahead to the future and the future of higher education, ready to con continue our commitment to be bold, to be global, to be good, and to begin and end with people. Each and every one of you graduating today is part of our past, present, and our future. We are extraordinarily proud of you. We know how hard you have worked to just to get to this point, but you've done it, and now is your time to celebrate. Graduates, it's an, it's an important time now to recognise that part of the reason that you are graduating today is because of the love, to the support, teaching and mentoring that's been provided to you, particularly from parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, friends, husbands, wives, children, neighbours and teachers. Everyone in the audience here today and including the audience watching at home today online across the globe. Graduates, I would now like to ask you to stand and to thank your supporters with a big round of applause. Families, friends, dear invited guests, I'll ask our graduates to remain standing. Yes, I said graduates. At this time, they're not just receiving their, their degrees, but they are unlocking doors to new opportunities, shaping the future and becoming the architects of change. The world awaits their brilliance, their creativity and their contributions. In a moment, I'll be presenting the graduating class to you and ask that you join me in a thunderous round of applause as the graduates participate in the traditional hat toss. For those of you who are frightened you might lose your hat, you're welcome to just wave it. Once we've completed the hat toss, graduates and guests, graduates and guests I ask you to please remain standing for the exit of the academic procession, followed by our graduates. Guests, if I could ask you to please remain seated until the academic procession and the graduates have left the hall. So families, friends, cameras at the ready, please rise to your feet. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the governing board of Torrens University Australia, I present to you the graduating class of 2024. <laughs> Graduates, caps in the air, there we go, that's it. Congratulations. <laughs>